Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Today we decided to cook outside. It's such a beautiful day and what we're going to be making is pan fried Atlantic salmon and as well some delicious scallops. So before we get started, I got my cast iron pan. I got two pans actually because we're going to get both of those going on our outside grill. And as well, we're going to have some onions and mushrooms. So if that interests you, let's get started. So of course what I got here is our scallops. And they're nice and big. Just look at them, they're delicious. Now I like uh, putting those wrapped in bacon, but I already got that done and I'll share that link with you. And this is a nice piece skin on of our Atlantic salmon. I got some steamed rice with vegetables. I'm gonna put here on the back burner uh, just to keep warm to serve with it. So what we'll do, we'll toss in our onions and mushrooms and get our salmon and scallops ready to go on the cast iron pan. So today I'm going to be using a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to be frying everything in garlic butter mixed with a bit of regular butter of course and all I'm going to do is toss in our onions and mushrooms there. Fresh mushrooms, just the white ones and white onions. Just toss that in and we're just going to be seasoning this with a simple salt and pepper. That's it. So what we'll do first, we'll prepare our salmon. I got two tablespoonfuls of flour. Doesn't matter what type of flour you're using. We're going to be putting in there about a half a teaspoonful of dill sauce. Dill sauce. Dill, uh, dill seasoning. <laughs> you got it. I know I'll get it, or yeah. just dill, I yeah. guess. Um, fresh or ground, it doesn't matter. About a half a teaspoonful of onion powder. And I'm gonna mix this together, just to get all of them seasonings incorporated together. And then we'll put our salmon in there to just glaze around. So we'll start out um, making sure that your skillet is hot. I'm using the cast iron here today on the barbecue and about a tablespoonful of the garlic butter. I'm just going to toss that in there. I'm going to let that melt, melt a little bit first and then we'll get that Atlantic salmon in there. So we're going to put our Atlantic salmon floured in the salt, pepper and the onion powder dill skin up. If you're using um, skinless uh, salmon, then it doesn't matter and make sure there's no bone. Let that fry. Now we'll get back to our scallops. We got a beautiful day here today. The birds are singing and the neighbors is doing some work in their garden, of course. Everybody's outside today having a nice beautiful day. I'm having a glass of lemonade. Raymond has got a cold beverage over there. And what we're going to do now is continue on with the scallops. We're going to put them into some flour and salt and pepper as well. I'm going to use about another tablespoon or so of the flour and a little bit more seasoning of the salt and pepper in the same bag. And this is what we're going to do is toss in um, some two or three of those scallops at a time and toss them around in that flour mixture. And we're going to fry it with salmon. So we only need to pan fry this salmon about three, maybe four minutes on each side. But right now I'm just uh, lifting the pan to give it an equal amount of that oil. I'm just going to toss <laughs> with my left hand <laughs> the onions and mushrooms, which is not easy. And I'm going to now put on the sides, not too many, I won't overcrowd it, um, those scallops. Get them fried. And well, again, you could probably throw on a couple of extra ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, we got some um, scallops that's done in bacon, eh, Raymond? And we'll yeah, share those that link with you as well. Yep. So that's all you need to do there. We'll turn over that salmon very shortly. What I'm going to do now is turn this delicious salmon. Oh my gosh, nice. 
just watch. Look at this, Raymond. Oh, fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Two good deeds. I'm going to probably toss it with another little bit of that salt and pepper there, just over the top. And now, let that fry for another two to three, maybe four minutes on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is add in a little bit extra butter. You can add in butter or oil at any time because the grill where it's nice and hot, it pulls that down a little, burns it off, and you want to keep that going. Also, I'm going to flip over a few of those scallops now. Can't wait. Just look at these delicious, delicious scallops. My mouth is watering here. I can't even talk right, really. Um, also, uh, I got Raymond just drooling over there waiting for some. So shortly, Raymond, you're going to have your pick of the feast, for oh, sure. Oh, I'm sure I can so that's, do a little picking. Yeah, and that's all we need to do there. We'll just let it fry until it's a little golden brown. They only need a couple of minutes on each side. You don't want to overcook those scallops. That's it. I'm going to take up this delicious meal now, our pan-fried salmon with scallops, huge scallops, mushrooms and onions, steamed rice, of course, not on the barbecue, but warmed on the barbecue. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now, if you never add this salmon rolled in flour, salt and pepper, fried in garlic butter before, you are missing out. So now today, I hope you get the chance to make yours. I'm just going to take all of this off here now, because I got Raymond just mm. tortured over there with the smell of all of this. Just I, look. I've got my plate just sitting here on the table. He got, so. He's got his plate, but he also, I can't give him this hot uh, scallops. Just look at this, guys. Isn't that wonderful? And over it to the side, I'm just going to toss out a little bit of that steamed rice with some soya sauce and some chopped up vegetables. That's it. As good as it gets. We got a windy day here today, so hopefully you hear me. I'm, I'm screaming over the, the wind. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of lemon over the top of this. I'm going to have a little taste of my salmon, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Mmm, so good. Delicious. I'm just going to open this up here for you to see. Just look at this salmon. Just nice and cooked. Not overcooked. Pink still. Mmm. And the scallops. Just so good. I can't wait. Raymond, well, Raymond just told me to tell you, this is windy enough to blow the eggs out of a chicken. And pretty <laughs> much that's what it's like here today. The, uh, we couldn't have picked, I guess, the worst day for wind, but a beautiful day. It's like 30 degrees here today. We are so excited. So if you guys enjoy this outside cooking, this is a meal that you've got to try. The pan-fried salmon, we use Atlantic salmon, um, also Atlantic scallops, but you could use whatever type or style of fish or anything outside. Get out there and enjoy yourself. We're going to share the recipe with you today in under this video here on YouTube and as well on www.bonitaskitchen.com. You can also visit us on our Facebook page or send us a message at bonitakitchen at gmail.com. We'll keep you any longer. We know your time is precious and we're so glad that you spent a few minutes with us here today grilling outside. Thank you for joining us on behalf of myself and Raymond. From our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day and keep safe. And don't forget to join us again here on Bonita's join Kitchen. Us Journey in Covenant, always an open door. Benita's kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen.